Hello, welcome back to another episode of me not being a body man. Yeah, so today I'm going to try to line this fender up, door up, and the hood up. I now have the uh, fenders on, mocked up kind of on both sides, down there. Oh, I'm also not a camera guy, I don't know if I figured that out yet. I got these fenders on. Just kind of sitting there. I still have a very large gap on this door to the fender. So this fender here, you can see it, is kind of down and in from where the door is. And I have a little piece of the door here that hits what that is. Look at that. That explains why that's making contact. So anyways, I have a little bit of room to move in this way. I may take this fender off, loosen these bolts, try to push this fender in, tighten it up. I'm sorry, push the door in, tighten up this gap this way. Um, it may also want to drop down some, which looking at my gaps, I don't need that. So somehow this fender needs to come up. So I can accomplish that from in here. I just can't push this fender back anymore, which is what I would need to bring this gap closed. But it looks like it's in the right spot. So I don't know why it needs to go back. There may just be some welding rod that's going to go in there. Because that's, well, this is a number two screwdriver. So that's quite a large gap. I don't like that. And back here, I have a decent gap. You know, I can live with that. I'd reshape it some with some rod, but when you get down here, it's almost non-existent. So this door is not shaped correctly. Um, I'm sure that that's common, but I don't know how I'm going to fix that. Anywho, our main focus today is going to be locking down this fender, getting this hood on, uh, at least somewhat permanent. So let's get started with that. Join me, won't you? Well, there's not enough adjustment to move these in this way. They're all the way in, in fact. Which doesn't make sense because this line is not where it needs to be. That's a pretty large gap, but on that side it's not. So something's really wrong with that door. But we're going to play it off best I can. And I don't know if you guys saw that, but uh, <clears throat> don't use your sledgehammer to, you know, Prop your hood open because that doesn't work as you saw. All right, well, next step, let's get this here fender in there and uh, see what happens then. Well, I oblonged that hole, bent that bracket out a little bit. So let's see if I can get this to line up. Way too high. Get you in there. I can bring this guy in. Maybe. Kind of. I can get a bolt in there and hold that. It's all fender. It doesn't feel right. Whew. Bolt in there. <laughs> I mean, I might have to do some hammer on this edge here. It's it's close. That's close. And then it just comes out. 
So, oh, you can't tell any of this. Oh, yeah, you can. That's that little guy. Gets real big right there. That just needs to come down. Go in. But at least we are pretty close to the shape here. I think this piece just got bent. This door got bent a little bit. Might do some finagling in here and reshape that little guy. All right, we got the hood on. <clears throat> that was fun. See how... Come on now. See how this works. Oh. Way off. See what I can see. Whole front of the hood is that away. Sure, the back of the hinge has got to go down. This side is that way. So we'll get this thing end up a little bit. So a couple of times I've done this, started working on the car, not really paying attention. Got the air conditioner on, you know, all of a sudden I look over. It's 67 degrees in here. Man, I might need a jacket. 100 degrees outside and I need a jacket. <laughs> here we are another day and it's really bugging me that when I close my hood, The gap is off, you know, just a little bit this way. Now, obviously, I know the hood's not 100% adjusted and all that, but I mean, I'm hitting here and I'm real tight. If I slam this down in there, it's real tight. Hell, you can even see it's over on this side, and this side's got plenty of room. So, I'm staring at it, I'm staring at it. And I came up with the bright idea. Well, Let's, let's measure something. Let's see what, what it's doing. So I took a measurement from something I knew was going to be solid. And then the cowl, there's the bolt holes for the top of the fender. I have come across to the corner of the body where they meet here. And I'm 72 and a half. I'm sorry, 72 and a quarter. I'm going to do the same thing on this side. And I am 73 and a quarter. Well, that, I, I mean, that's the problem right there. It's, that, it's one of the ways. So I think it's that way. But that explains why that don't line up because the body's over here. So I'm going to have to loosen all the things and then slide that over some. And that shouldn't get it doing these things. But the problem is when I loosen those, it's going to mess with all the other alignments. So that's fun. But, you know, it's got to happen. So let's do that. Don't do what I do. This is just what I come up with. And sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't. So show you what I got going on here. I loosened my core support bolts and everything else. So my front end is a little wobbly and I use my little pry bar between the frame and the bottom of the core support here and I kind of wiggled that over and took the slack up with the ratchet strap that's going to my control arm. Over here the core support. Probably not what I should be doing. You know, just basically trying to get a rough idea for what's going to happen. And then I measured these, and I'm at 72 and 5 eighths that away. <coughs> and 72 and, oh, look, 5 eighths that way. Tape measure. So, you know. I'm not a mathematician, but those are the same. So that should mean that this is anywhere close and it should just kind of 
Well, would you look at that? Now, obviously, it's not going to be, you know, perfect right off the back. <laughs> Did it again. Right off the bat. But you look, when I do this here, which is, you know, simulating having the hinges adjusted. I don't know if you can see that or not, but this gap, I can almost fit my fingers in. Which means it'll that away once this hood's adjusted correctly. Cheerio, welcome back. Whilst you were away, phone died by the way. So I didn't get what I was doing. But uh, got this here adjusted. Drop, lifted the hood up, which dropped the hinges back on the back bolts, tightened those down. Then I lifted the hood up, which dropped the front of the hinges up. And I tightened those down just because I needed more of the, you know, down that way. So that put me pretty close on the back side there. Yeah, that's what she said. So can adjust on this one a little bit, or maybe that's that's close. Very close. I feel like we're on to something there. Uh, I'll play with that some more. That one's almost dead on. <clears throat> and get the old click clack click clack ratchet strap on the front end to bring the core support over. I cinch those down. So I've got those locked down, moved it over quite a bit. I'm still a quarter inch off of where I'd like to be. Um, just can't get it to stay over here. When I tighten it down, I move it over and tighten it. It jumps back a little bit. So there's some, some wiggling room, I'm sure, doing things. Um, I want to say all my bolts are still loose. So yeah, I don't know what's up with that. But, uh, you know, it's mostly on there. I did play with the hood a little bit. And if I look at it, the hood is sitting just a little bit askew. But I have a little bit of left-right movement in the hood where it bolts and hinges there. So I was able to play with that. And that's the hood closing. I don't know if you can see that. Anyways, got the gap pretty good here. Played with the front back a little bit. Probably could go back some on that side. This gap is acceptable, I guess. Now, that brings this gap acceptable for now. Um, so, that's pretty much what I had to do through on my hood to get it to line up. So, don't forget, check the core support. Straightness, if everything's not going. This car was completely apart, as you've been seeing, so, you know, who knows what's going on with this little guy. And I'm sure I'll have to play with it some more. But left, right, there's a little bit up here, or in the course port. And, you know, just kind of rotate your fenders as you need to, and, you know, tighten 8,000 bolts. Because, you know. So, anywho, thanks for watching. That's going to kind of wrap up the hood alignment video for today. So highlights moved left and right. Um, you can play forward and back in the fenders a little bit. You got forward and back in the hood on the those four bolts. So that got me close. Hopefully uh help you guys out or if not gave you some entertainment. Just hang in there for the next one. I'm sure it'll be more body stuff. Yay. Thanks for watching. Hit that like and subscribe and uh we know what you think. Leave me a comment.